Hi everyone, uh, I'm here today with Marlon Banta, who is a senior product definition engineer here at SolidWorks. How are you doing? I'm oh, good. So, tell everybody what it is that you do here at SolidWorks. Um, so, uh, as you said, I'm a senior product definition engineer, and what that means is that we take, um, you know, our input is customer data. Uh, we get this through a lot of one-on-one uh, -on -one interviews. We do many customer visits throughout the year. Uh, consulting, we um, you know survey a lot of customer data that comes into SolidWorks, uh, and we use that to formulate a plan for each release. Um, and so, after we've decided what we're going to do, uh, my job is specifically to write the specifications for the changes that you see in each release of the software, and then to manage um, those changes through until uh, the next release is shipped. So, what is it that you work on specifically? Um, for I've had primary responsibility or sole responsibility, I'd say, for um, our rendering products. Um, do a lot with graphics. Um, the animator that's in core SolidWorks, the motion manager, I should say, um, has been my responsibility. Um, and then through the through the past years, I've worked on you know assembly, sketcher, um, some special projects like the distributed computing in uh, the task scheduler and uh, more recently I've started to work on uh, simulation. So SolidWorks uh, 2010 just recently came out. Is there anything in there that you're especially fond of that you worked on? really like the design studies that, uh, that, that came out and that's, that's really kind of a merging of technology that we have in simulation with, uh, with our core uh, SolidWorks package. So you're able to do um, uh, very specific studies, uh, uh, optimization type studies. So what is the what is the lowest mass uh, part that still has the strength characteristics that you desire? Um, and then also you can do very uh, very quickly do comparative studies. See well what what does the the two inch part look like versus the two and a half or the three inch part, and how does that affect um, you know the mass or or other characteristics that you're tracking in awesome. the model. So, how long have you been here? Uh, in April, it will be uh, in April 2010. It will be uh, seven years. Seven years. What did you do yeah. before you came to SolidWorks? Um, fresh out of college, I worked for uh, I worked for another CAD company, and a well-known uh, CAD company. And then um, and then I got into the telecom industry. So I was a, a design engineer. I worked for uh, for Nortel, and then uh, and then a whiz bang startup down in Maynard called Photonics. Mm -hmm. So I know that your group uh, does a lot of research and a lot of uh, talking to customers in the SolidWorks world. Mm -hmm. um, what specifically will you guys be doing uh, in Anaheim? Um, we do, uh, in the early part of, uh, of the conference, we do um, what we call alpha testing, which is essentially testing the, the latest enhancements that we've made to the latest release, which will be SolidWorks 2011. Um, and we're really trying to understand from our users if, if the changes that we made are, are the right changes, uh, especially at a time when we have the ability to um, maybe make modifications to what we've done. Um, we'll also be doing more general research. Um, uh, basically, we call them focus groups, where uh, we sit down with several uh, users of the software and try and understand what, um, you know, what, what works best for them, how they use the software, um, any ideas uh, that they may have. And then generally throughout the conference, uh, I meet with customers one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you know, again, to do, to better understand their experience using the software. So if somebody was interested in, uh, in having a talk with you, how would they track you down? Um, we, we send out a survey beforehand uh, to um, registered uh, attendees and certainly respond to that. Um, that uh, basically, we ask several questions about what parts of the software you're interested in, um, what you'd be interested in discussing, and um, that helps us uh, sort of identify interested parties um, and, and allows us to, you know, to gather people for alpha testing in these focus groups. Um, and then also we use that to schedule one-on-one uh, -on -one meetings with customers. And certainly, if you see me at the conference, you know, we'll be wearing the SolidWorks shirts, and, and um, I, I think we also have special. Name special tags badges, or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So special badges. Certainly, you know, uh, hail me down. Um, 
and, and, and we'll see if we can find a time to meet. I'll also be uh, giving hands-on presentations for uh, Motion Manager, um, as well as a, a breakout session, and I generally help uh, Sal, um, I guess he was interviewed previously, uh, with his uh, hands-on sessions. So anything that's uh, coming down the road for SolidWorks 2011 you can tell us about? Um, very generally, I, I would say that um, SolidWorks 2009 and 2010, uh, people that used our rendering products, um, you know, I know there, there, there's a lot of question from users, questions from users, I should say, about what, uh, what direction we're going with our rendering products. And I think uh, that will be a lot clearer in, uh, in 2011. I think we're you know, providing a very powerful uh, rendering solution. Great. Well, Marlon Banta, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to talk, and we'll see you in Anaheim. Thank you.